Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your Final Cut Pro X. So this is version 10.4.1. To update or update any app that's directly from Apple, you guys should always go right here, top left hand side. You guys will see your third option for App Store. If you guys don't see it up there, which would be extremely weird. You guys can always type it up. All right. If you go to Spotlight Search and type in App Store, you guys will see it coming up. So there it is. So let's just open that up. Um, once you guys open it up, it might open up in this, but just go to your last option where it says updates. And right now, if you guys don't have iMovie, don't worry about it. Right now we're looking at Final Cut Pro and you guys will see that there's actually a ton of stuff that goes into it. So how long is this going to take? It shouldn't take you guys more than 30 minutes. Um, it is kind of a big update, but at the same time, it's not that big. Make sure to just have some of your projects finalized. I would never do an update if I'm in the middle of a project, just in case. And as you have noticed with Final Cut Pro, uh, if something goes wrong or if uh, the update's a little bit too big, you might lose your projects. So just be aware of that. Do not update unless you guys are done with your projects or if you have a backup or also recommend having Time Machine so you guys could go back on that back uh, on that update. So if I don't like this update, I can always go back um, using Time Machine, which I have another video that shows you how to how to use that and how to do that as well. Anyways, right now, let's just update Final Cut Pro. Again, um, our, the Mac is not going to restart. OK, there's no need for that for this update. It's just going to be pretty heavy. And it really it depends on your speed from your Internet because it's all it's just 200 megabytes, right? But if you guys are uploading a lot of stuff right now to YouTube, or if you guys are downloading a bunch of stuff, it might take you longer, right? So I would say if you're there an hour, maybe something's wrong, or maybe you need to hook it up directly to your router using an ethernet cable. Um, in my case right now, I stopped all my downloads and uploads so I can actually install this faster. So average speed, I said 30 minutes with pretty slow internet um, from you know, downloading to installing. Other than that, if you guys have fairly good internet, like I do at the moment, it shouldn't take you guys more than what you guys see in this video right now. So it's not going to take me more than a few minutes. Um, that's pretty much it for this update that I'm running you guys through. You guys might also see right down here below. If you guys do have iMovie, you guys might have that option to update. If you guys don't see this update for some reason, just make sure you're hooked up to internet. Um, you cannot update if you guys are not hooked up through Wi-Fi or an ethernet cable. If you guys want to see like more information about the actual update and what it does, you guys can always go to Apple and see it right here. Um, I think the biggest thing right now with this update would be the captions. Um, before it was pretty hard. But right now, they implemented that into this update. So that's really great. And of course, there's some um, other stuff that you guys might find really useful, especially, well, depending on what camera you guys are using to um, just import all your videos into Final Cut Pro. So right here, you guys can see all of it. And it's quite a bit, right? So let's just go right back to our app store and see this. So we have one minute to go. All right. So once our update is done, you guys will see that Final Cut Pro just drops down here below and you guys will only see the other updates that you guys have to do. So let's just open up Final Cut Pro so you guys can see that it's not, although it's a big change, you guys will not see a big change in the interface by itself. So right here, we're going to see what's new. So as you guys can see right here, right away, we see closed captions. All right. Then we see enhanced export and all this stuff, plus a future list if you guys want to see. But I'm going to skip that for now continue and here we go so the library must be updated so once you guys do that you guys will have to do this again make that backup with time machine before actually updating just in case because this can bring up problems later on so i'm going to update at this point once i update my library it means i wouldn't be able to just import that library to an older final cut pro it's going to take quite a bit just because my library is pretty big right now. I tried to keep it clean, but there's quite a bit of stuff right now. And there we go. So as you guys can see, it's all your basics. Um, don't worry about missing files. I'm always missing files because I move them around a ton. You guys shouldn't see that in your um, your own stuff. 
gonna ground down. Okay. So I don't see my preview from my projects right away. That's just gonna take a little bit to load up. I'm not really worried about that. I'm just gonna go to my last one. Even my last one should say missing file. I think this one's just one of the ones that my wife was working on. So if I open that up, there shouldn't be any missing files really. So yeah, there's no missing files right here. Sorry about the volume. Um, but yeah, everything should be working fine. Interface wise looks pretty much the same. And that's it for this video. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you can write them down here really in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.